What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to Call of Duty Warzone. In today's video, I kind of like to talk about the things I like and don't like about Warzone. Overall guys, I'm really enjoying it, which is kind of surprising because as most of you know, if you've been around the channel for a while, I'm not a big fan of Battle Royale. I've played Fortnite, I've played Apex, I've played H1Z1, I've played Blackout. And while they were all fun for a little while, I've just, you know, I've never been a huge fan of Battle Royale in general. But I have played Warzone so far for almost a total of two days in-game time and have found myself really enjoying it. So in this video, I want to talk about some things I like and I do not like about the game, some things I hope they change. Of course, it is free to play if you have not downloaded it yet and tried it out for yourself. You can download it on PC, Xbox, and PS4. Like I said, it is free. I know a lot of you out there may be still kind of wanting to know what the game is all about. There has been over 16 million players, Activision said so far, playing the game. So hopefully this video will help you out. So let's go ahead and just get right into it. These are going to be in no particular order. I'm just going to talk about, you know, just kind of everything, you know, throughout the video of what I like and do not like. First of all, I think they have made the game easy uh, so that you feel like you're always working, you know, for something. It always keeps you engaged. I think the armor system is one of the best things that they have added. It makes armor very easy. It's not like... Any other battle royale where you have to find different tiers of armor, different kinds of armor, this game has armor plates and that is it. You uh, insert three armor plates, you have max health. If you lose an armor plate, you can just find another one and insert that. You can carry a total of five. And I know that does not sound a lot like a lot, but there's buy stations all across the map that do sell armor plates for 1500 cash. And cash is very easy to come by. Uh, between three players, 1500 cash is absolutely nothing to be able to get in just a couple seconds. I do think once you go to these buy stations, there are some things that may need to be looked at. At these buy stations, there are kill streaks. It's a UAV, a cluster strike, and an airstrike. The UAV is by far the best streak, but I do feel like they're a little too cheap. Cash is in abundance all over the map. Now that may change. They may kind of tone down how much cash you can find in game, and that would solve some problems with things costing too much or not costing enough. But I feel like as of right now, as a team, you can collect, you know, 10, 20,000 cash very easily in no time. You can pool your cash together. Someone can go to the buy station and buy whatever the team needs. So I feel like they may need to look at the kill streaks, but I do think that the kill streaks are a very unique thing. There's not lots of them. Like I said, there's only three different ones to choose from. Uh, the only issue I really have with them, I feel like there may be a little bit too much kill streak spam at the end in a small circle. If you're playing really experienced players that all buy kill streaks, considering each person can only carry one, you still can have a total of kill streak, uh, three kill streaks between all three players in your squad. One thing that I really like about the game also is the loadouts. Uh, there is an option to call in a loadout drop, which costs 6,000 cash. All three members of the team can pick up that loadout drop. And there's also random loadout drops just throughout the map uh, certain time, during certain times of the game. You can think of these loadout drops kind of like supply drops in any other battle royale. But the difference with this game is it's actually loadouts that you make like you would if you were playing multiplayer. You get to choose your weapon, your attachments, your perks, your lethal, your tactical. Once you select that loadout drop, you have that, that weapon, those perks, those lethals, those tacticals. And if you find another one or want to purchase another one throughout the game, you can do so and swap that uh, loadout, you know, in and out with whatever you have created. I do feel like this is one of the coolest things about Warzone. I do feel like when it comes down to end game, the circle small, everyone has their own loadouts. It really comes down to gun skill and your ability to play Call of Duty is not kind of random about, you know, kind of like how, how much RNG luck you've had throughout the game to find good weapons like some battle royales are. I feel like the loadout system is one of the best things in the game. But I do feel like they could probably make the loadouts a little bit more expensive. Because like I said, cash is in abundance in the game. 6,000 cash. You can get that very quick as soon as you drop. And you're, you and your team can have loadouts throughout the game's uh, you know time. That may be what they wanted. They may want everybody to just go in, buy loadouts real quick, be comfortable with the guns they're used to using in multiplayer, which is perfectly fine. But at the same time, there's also some good guns that you can find just kind of you know out through the world like you would in any normal battle royale that you can just loot. So they may need to look at the price of the loadout overall, maybe make some changes to where uh, if you want to buy a cheaper loadout, only you, the person that purchase it, uh, purchases it, can get the uh, loadout out of it. And if you want to buy a loadout for your team, it can be more expensive. I'm not sure, but leave me a comment what you think about loadout so far in 
Warzone. Now, the Gulag is one thing that is very unique and neat, in my opinion. One of the coolest things also that they have added. This is the option if you die. The first time you die, you get to go into an arena and fight 1v1 with random weapons against another player that has died in Warzone as well. If you win, you get automatically redeployed. You can parachute back in. If you lose, you're not get removed from the game. You just go back to your team screen. They can then purchase you back in for 4,500 cash. And you can be purchased back in as many times as you want if you die, as long as your teammates have cash. I do feel like the Gulag has added something to kind of that death idea to not keep you disinterested in the game, to not make you want to quit automatically, because you do have the chance to win a 1v1 fight and go back in, or you have a chance to be purchased back in by your teammates. And I think that is a pretty good idea, in my opinion. While some people think you shouldn't be able to be bought back in just, you know, infinitely, you know, just infinite times, I guess. Uh, that might need to be looked at. It doesn't really bother me, but some people really do not like the idea of being able to purchase players back in over and over. Now, once a certain point in the map kind of get, well, once the map gets to a certain point, the gulag is closed, so you cannot be, you know, going in to a one v one fight to get dropped back in the map. At that point, your teammates' only option is to buy you back into the game. I think there's some neat things going on with that within the game. There are contracts in game that you can do while playing. Uh, these contracts will give you cash once completed. So if you see contracts, definitely pick them up. They're definitely worth doing. Um, I think one thing that uh, I was really surprised with, I guess, was how well the game runs on PS4. I had some issues with Blackout on PS4. Now, I know PC has had some server issues, but overall with 150 players, the game runs very smooth. I was really surprised at how smooth the game runs. Now, I still get those issues sometimes, you know, like you may in multiplayer where you just get melted or you melt someone and it does not seem like they should die that quick or you should die that quick. That still happens. I think that's just a thing that happens in every Call of Duty no matter what. It's happened for years now. I've kind of gotten used to it. But overall, I think that the quality of gameplay and the quality of the servers is really, really good. And I think Infinity Ward and Raven Software did an incredible job with that. Like I said, kind of to begin with, when, when Warzone was first announced, I was kind of skeptical because I'm not a huge Battle Royale fan. I didn't know how it was going to work out. I didn't know if it would be laggy. I didn't know if it would be frame drop. But overall, the connection experience for me personally on PS4 has been really good. Some things that are kind of in-game right now that are kind of annoying that are getting fixed, Activision has confirmed by Joe Seacott on Twitter, is there's one issue right now. If you're using a gas mask, which you can pick up in-game, it does not last for the entirety or, you know, the entire time you're in the gas. It has like five to seven seconds and it will break. But if you are in that gas, you cannot aim down sights with your weapon. You only can hit fire, which is very, very annoying. That should be fixed very soon. And also, once you come out of that gas, the mask is removed automatically by your character. It's like, you know, an, a, a motion that is automatic. It's nothing that you have to hit button-wise to remove that mask. That is also annoying. A lot of players want the ability to be able to remove the mask automatically once they come out of the gas. They said at Activision they want that as well, but as of right now, there was not a button configuration for it because they've already used all the buttons, so they're looking at some way to implement that into the game. One other thing I've had issues with as of late is sometimes when I buy a UAV from the station, it bugs out and you cannot call that UAV in. That is another thing that I have heard that they are looking at and hoping to fix real soon. So that's another thing. If you're having some of these issues, these should be fixed within the next couple updates. Um, the one thing I think that is a big gripe for everyone right now is if you down an enemy when you know, you're know you fighting a squad, you down one or two people, maybe all three, and someone else swoops in and kills them while they're down, they get credit for the kill and you do not. They said that was not meant to be like this or it was not meant to be like that when the game was released. But... Unfortunately, the fix for it did not get in once the game was released. So soon, once someone goes down, if you've downed them, uh, very soon you will be able to get the kill credit for that once they're killed. You don't have to worry about continuously, you know, getting kills, I guess, taken from you once, you know, you have downed someone. That is one very annoying thing that is going to get fixed, like I said, very soon according to Activision. And last but not least, I think the one thing they need to do that's not available right now is give players more ways to play. The game is free to play. I think it needs solos. I think it needs duos. They have talked about adding fours and fives, which I think would be a great idea as well, because right now all you have is trios. While it is fun with randoms, it is kind of annoying, but at the same time, if you have a lot of friends online, you only can play with two other friends. So I think fours and fives would be great. 
But I know there's a lot of players out there would like to see solos and duos also. And I think for a free-to-play Battle Royale, you need these game modes in as soon as possible because you're probably losing customers that want to play those other type modes. Maybe they don't want to play trios. Maybe they just like to play solo. Or maybe they just want to play with a friend and play duos. You do have the option now to go in to Warzone and click Do Not Fill when you find a game. And you can play by yourself or play with just a friend. But you have to remember, you're always going to be playing against squads of three. So it can be difficult for some players. But overall... I think the experience with Warzone was a surprise to me personally. Even though I did talk about some things that I do not like inside of Warzone, there are tons of things that are a positive in Warzone. We know we're going to have a lot of different live events. We know this has you know, just been out for a couple days to a week. There's going to be a lot of things changing and updating. Activision has confirmed throughout you know, its life cycle of the game. Like I said, those few things that need to change uh, are not big things in my opinion. I think they can be done by Activision, and hopefully we will see those changes. Leave me a comment, guys. Let me know your thoughts on Warzone. Have you been playing it? Have you been enjoying it? Uh, just kind of overall, what are your thoughts on the game mode in general? I think it's a great free-to-play battle royale, and I think Activision and Raven Software have done an incredible job so far. Anyway, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. If you are a subscriber, make sure you click that bell icon up in the top right corner so you know when all my videos go live. If you have a chance, share the video. It does help out the channel a lot. And be sure to check out GT Racing. They are the affiliate here on the channel. They sell gaming chairs and office chairs, and all their information is linked down in the description. I'll catch you next time. Peace.